sir. And time now for Jeff's uh, feature story this week, EV battery disposal. And we yeah. don't even think about that. Yeah, well, but what happens with the battery when it goes dead? This all started, I was looking up some information on uh, EV junkyards, but there really aren't any to really discuss. So what happens to the battery pack, even though they're used up? Well, you're not supposed to throw certain kind of batteries in the trash, Mike, uh, specifically, the, specifically the couple hundred pounds that you're going to find with an EV. Uh, instead of trashing the batteries, the auto recyclers, uh, which are formerly known as junkyards, uh, they seem to specialize in, in certain firms dismantling the packs that, that break them down into different materials. Now, the materials are wires, circuitry, plastics, and the actual cells themselves. Uh, the cells and circuits are crushed to separate and purify the various metals in them, including nickel and lithium. And who doesn't like lithium, Mike? Um, dealerships also dispose of the used hybrid packs responsibly, relying on the same collection process, the junkyards, uh, to dispose of what they have so far as batteries and dismantling procedures. The packs are shipped to a facility specializing in battery disassembly and are recycling the components. Certain parts, Mike, are easy. The steel, the copper, the aluminum. Their scrap metals usually go into the nationwide recycling system. With the plastics to be recycled, it's a little bit different avenue, a little bit harder to do the recycling of plastics. It's the cells themselves that hold the allure. The most expensive part of the battery is the prize of the lithium, the cobalt, the magnesium, the nickel, and to a lesser extent, the aluminum. The cells are ground up, the resulting material is purified in various ways, and the end process is a pure supply of desired metals. Now, an EV battery pack is assumed to be at the end of its life when it has no more than 70 to 75% of its original capacity. Hitting this mark may take 10 years or more. Even with a quarter or more of the peak capacity gone, aging battery packs still offer plenty of energy, 20 to 90 kilowatt hours or up to three days worth of electricity for the average American home. So even if it's dead in the car, it could still produce electricity. The challenge to reuse is particularly difficult because the new cells are dramatically cheaper now to the point that no longer clear is a model of buying, transporting, repurposing, or reselling used cells from older batteries. Here's the kicker. Demands for batteries will soar in the 2020s and the 2030s as the world's largest car markets, China, North America, Europe, continue to transition to EVs. New mining techniques, there's, there's, there's nothing going on. I mean, they're not going to start a new mine just for the batteries. But meanwhile, EV battery metals have come from China when they were first mined, once a U.S. recycler separates the cells back into their component metals, the new lithium or nickel is now considered to be made in the USA. So you can take a Chinese battery, recycle it, and once you take all those metals and repurpose it, it's now considered made in the USA. So there you go. So so they're, they're, they're using all these precious metals to build the batteries, mm -hmm. right? The lithium all that stuff. Mm -hmm. They steal the catalytic converters to get the precious metals out of it. Is <laughs> anybody stealing the batteries to get the precious I, metals I out? I think there's more of a challenge with that because uh -huh. you got to take the car apart. Well, and, and, and you may get juiced in exactly, the process. Exactly. You know, just thinking, get under there with a sawzall and just kind of... Yeah, that's, the yeah do that. Yeah, do that. The car and get the sawzall. Yeah, get the sawzall after the battery. Fried Mars. <laughs> exactly. <clears throat> I want...